Let us know. It's 611, 62 degrees. It's time for another news where we take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. What is it about school yearbook pictures that makes the ignorance come out? Teachers in the languages department at San Pasqual High School in Escondido, California, decided to make their pictures fun by dressing up in clothes related to the language they taught. The French teacher wore a beret and hers, and the Spanish teachers wore serapes, sombreros, and fake mustaches. They left out the Corona and the tequila bottles because they didn't want to send the wrong message. Now, after consulting with Governor Ralph Northam, the school district released a statement saying that the pictures aren't culturally insensitive, but these, te these teachers were culturally insensitive at a completely different time. Then they offered to dance like Michael Jackson. In other news, any parent can tell you that sometimes they have to go into their kid's piggy bank for a couple of bucks, piece of delivery money, tolls, it happens. You just put the money back, right? Well, a father in Oregon took things a little too far after admitting he staged a whole home robbery to cover up the $740 of Girl Scout cookie money he took from his daughter. The reason? Mr. Couture took his baby's money so he could pay for an erotic massage. What? Yes. Hey, hey, there is a happy ending, though. Race. The Girl Scouts are working with prosecutors to recover the money by offering the masseuse a merit badge for working with her hands. Very nicely done. And lastly, everybody has something to say about the final episode of Game of Thrones. While a lot of it has been negative, some people are defending it, like Seinfeld's George Costanza. Actor Jason Alexander tweeted to the cast to live in the joy of being part of something that moved so many people and that he and his family loved it. Probably because it finally took the light off that weak Seinfeld ending. America, we're spoiled. Every show is not going to end as strong as, say, good times. Now, that was an ending. Thelma pregnant, JJ got a job and his own apartment, the whole family getting out the hood. It don't get no better than that. In fact, every other series finale should be called Not Good Times. Annie, your favorite series finale. Oh, you're going to call me out for this one. It's Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I thought you were going to go Real Housewives. Okay. I lived off that show. That's fair enough. Yeah. All right. All right. We, we got some David and Donna finally got married. I feel you. And, and I think uh, Gabrielle Carteris turned 55. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. It is 613. Right now is your chance to make.